2018 was a year full of glory and excitement in tennis. However, tennis is such an unpredictable sport, therefore, it definitely wasn't lacking in controversies and shocking moments. In today's video, we'll discuss the moments that shook the tennis world and got everyone talking. For some reason, Australia's Nick Kyrgios and Shanghai don't click very well. In his 2016 Shanghai Masters campaign, Kyrgios was cautioned by the umpire for tanking. Nick, we can't play like that, okay? It's just, it's just, sorry? Listen, during the play. After review, the ATP Association decided to fine the bad boy of tennis $32,000 and banned him from the ATP circuit for 8 weeks. In his 2017 Shanghai Masters campaign, he was fined $10,000 for unsportsmanlike conduct. This stemmed from smashing two tennis balls out of the court from frustration and for being heard telling his team he will quit the match if he lost the first set. His opponent, compatriot Steve Johnson, clinched the first set in a tiebreaker. Unsurprisingly, the temperamental Aussie was booed as he walked off the court and the ATP refused to award him the $21,000 prize money. For a third straight year, Kyrgios caused more havoc at the 2018 Shanghai Masters. During his first round matchup against America's Bradley Klan, umpire Damien Dumasois cautioned Kyrgios about his lack of effort on a return of serve in the second set. This resulted in a tense back and forth altercation between Kyrgios and Dumusua. I've never said that. No, I said just go the line, just go the line. I never said four. I never said I never said four. I never Kyrgios bowed out in the first round for a second year in a row. The 2018 Wimbledon Championships was definitely not a good year for the WTA's top players. None of the players in the top 10 of the Women's Tennis Association were able to penetrate past the fourth round. Four of them were knocked out in the first round. Defending champion Garbine Muguruza was defeated in the second round by Belgium's Alison van Udbank. Last year's runner-up Venus Williams was knocked out by Dutch's Kiki Burtons. World number one Simona Halep was a point away from securing a place in the fourth round. However, Taiwan's Su Wei She saved a match point and was able to shockingly defeat the Romanian. Czech Republic's Karolina Pliskova was the most successful out of the top 10, making it to the fourth round before falling to Kiki Burton. This was the worst overall Wimbledon performance of the top 10 women players in the Open era and the first time none of the top 10 seeds were able to make it past the 4th round. It was announced Serena Williams would be seeded 25th at the Wimbledon Championships despite being ranked 189 in the world at that time. Prior to this seeding, Williams faced tough opponents in the early rounds as an unseeded player at earlier tournaments. At Indian Wells, she lost to big sister Venus in the third round and Naomi Osaka in the first round at the Miami Open. The WTA says players should not be punished for maternity leave and will allow women to enter tournaments based on their pre-absence ranking. Williams' Wimbledon 25th seeding caused mixed feelings within the tennis world. American tennis legend John McEnroe, Caroline Wozniacki, 
and Simona Halep were in support of Wimbledon's decision to hand her a seeding. However, former Australian Open runner-up Dominika Sibulkova thought the decision was unfair because she was bumped out of the seedings as a result of Williams' inclusion. Two-time Grand Slam winner and fellow mother Victoria Azarenka was confused as to why she didn't receive a seating at last year's Wimbledon tournament when she returned to tennis from her maternity leave. Last year you didn't get a seating after becoming a new mother. Serena has got a seating this year after becoming a new mother. I yeah. just wondered what your sort of thoughts were on that. It's as simple as you just said it. I didn't get it last year, she got it this year, you know. I think it's, um, I think it's an important conversation that has been started. During her first round US Open match, France's Elise Cornet walked back onto the court after the newly introduced 10 minute heat break without realizing her shirt was on back to front. She immediately decided to take off her shirt and adjust it properly. However, umpire Christian Rask gave her a code violation for unsportsmanlike conduct. This sparked outrage from the tennis world, calling the violation sexist and hypocritical because male players often change their shirts during matches. However, many argued that Cornet should have changed her shirt during a changeover instead during mid-match, which would have been more acceptable regardless of gender. The USTA reviewed their policies and allowed female tennis players to change their outfits during changeovers. During his semi-final battle against Japan's Yoshihito Nishioka at the 2018 Shenzhen Open, Spain's Fernando Vadasco was seen berating a volunteer ball boy for not fetching his towel fast enough. Rodasco aggressively and angrily gestured to the distraught ball boy to do his duties faster, which drew criticism from the tennis world. It was no surprise that there was sympathetic support for the traumatized ball boy. Due to the Spaniard's actions, this also sparked a debate whether tennis players should get their own towels instead of relying on ball kids. Vadasco received no punishment for his barrage against the ball boy. Vadasco eventually lost to eventual champion Nishioka in a three-set battle. One can't deny Serena Williams has had a phenomenal comeback this year after giving birth to her first child, Olympia. She made it to the finals of the 2018 Wimbledon Championships. She even surpassed her own expectations again when she was able to make it to the finals of the 2018 US Open. However, her final matchup against Japan's Naomi Osaka became one of the most controversial matches of all time. Veteran umpire Carlos Ramos issued Williams three code violations. The first violation was for supposedly receiving coaching from her coach, Patrick Moritaglu. After hitting an unforced error, a frustrated Williams smashed her racket. Thus, Ramos issued Williams her second violation for racket abuse which resulted in a point penalty. Code violation, racket abuse, point penalty, Mrs. Williams. During a changeover, the new mother of one got into another verbal altercation with Ramos, requesting an apology and calling him a thief. The Portuguese umpire eventually gave Williams her third code violation for verbal abuse, which resulted in a game penalty. Officials got involved and Williams argued that her code violations were unfair and sexist.
This was not the first time Williams has not caused major controversy at the US Open. During her 2009 semi-final match against Belgium's Kim Clijsters, Williams was given a code violation for supposedly threatening a lineswoman over a foot fault call. Down a match point, this gave Clijsters a default win over Williams. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please help our channel by subscribing and hitting the like button. Leave a comment and tell us what moments you thought were controversial in the 2018 tennis year.